Hello, fellow heirs. Welcome back to Weekday Wind Down with the Word, where we are reading through the book of Numbers. And today we will be reading the 29th chapter of Numbers in the NLT version. This chapter includes offerings for the Festival of Trumpets, offering for the Day of Atonement, as well as offerings for the Festival of Shelters. So without delay, let's start reading. Offerings for the Festival of Trumpets. Celebrate the Festival of Trumpets each year on the first day of the appointed month in early autumn. You must call an official for the Holy Assembly and you may not do any ordinary work. On that day, you must present a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs with no defects. These must be accompanied by grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil, six quarts with the bull, four quarts with the ram, and two quarts with each of the seven lambs. In addition, you must sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering to purify yourself and make yourself right with the Lord. These special sacrifices are in addition to your regular monthly and daily burnt offerings, and they must be given with their prescribed grain offerings and liquid offerings. These offerings are given as a special gift to the Lord, a pleasing aroma to Him. Offerings for the Day of Atonement Ten days later, on the tenth day of the same month, you must call another holy assembly. On that day, the Day of Atonement, the people must go without food and must do no ordinary work. You must present a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs, all with no defect. These offerings must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offering of choice flour moistened with olive oil, six quarts of choice flour with the bull, four quarts of choice flour with the ram, and two quarts of choice flour with each of the seven lambs. You must also sacrifice one male goat for a sin offering. This is in addition to the sin offering of atonement and the regular daily burning offering with its grain offering and their accompanying liquid offering. Offerings for the Festival of Shelter. Five days later on the 15th day of the same month, you must call another holy assembly of all the people, and you may do no ordinary work on that day. It is the beginning of the Festival of Shelters, a seven-day festival to the Lord. On the first day of the festival, you must present a burnt offering as a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It will consist of 13 young bulls, two rams, and 14 one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings must be accompanied by a grain offering of choice flour moistened with olive oil, six quarts for each of the 13 bulls, four quarts for each of the two rams, and two quarts for each of the 14 lambs. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering. In addition to the regular burnt offerings with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offerings, on the second day of this seven-day festival, sacrifice 12 young bulls, two rams, and 14 one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the third day of the festival, sacrifice 11 young bulls, two rams, and 14 one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the fourth day of the festival, sacrifice 10 young bulls, two rams, and 14 one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs 
must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offerings. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the fifth day of the festival, sacrifice nine young bulls, two rams, and 14 one-year-old male lambs, all with no defect. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular burnt offerings with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the sixth day of the festival, sacrifice eight young bulls, two rams, and 14 one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering in addition to regular burnt offerings with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the seventh day of the festival, sacrifice seven young bulls, two rams, and 14 one-year-old male lambs, all with no defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offerings with its accompanying grain offering and liquid offering. On the eighth day of the festival, proclaim another holy day. You must do no ordinary work on that day. You must present a burnt offering as a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs, all with no defect. Each of these offerings must be accompanied by its prescribed grain offering and liquid offering. You must also sacrifice one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the regular burnt offerings with its accompanying grain offerings and liquid offerings. You must present these offerings to the Lord at your annual festival. These are in addition to the sacrifices and offerings you present in connection with vows or as voluntary offering, burnt offering, grain offering, liquid offerings, or peace offering. So Moses gave all these instructions to the people of Israel as the Lord had commanded him. And that concludes Numbers 29 and the NLT version. Now, even though these offerings only apply to the tribe of Israel, uh, I am so grateful that the Lord uh, felt it necessary to share the offerings, um, the laws, and just the different things that the Israelites had to do because it just helped us to understand, um, you know, Christ and his atonement for our sins and why it is such a blessing that Christ died um, for our sins. You know, I might not be as grateful if I thought that if I didn't know that, you know, I had to atone for my sins through some type of sacrifice um, as the children of Israel did. But Jesus is our sacrificial lamb and he settled it once and for all. We don't have to keep putting him on the cross every, every year or putting someone else on the cross. He settled it once and for all and I am so grateful for that. But as usual, I want to know what your thoughts are on this chapter. Please make sure you put it in the comments below. And once again, I thank you for listening to Weekday Wind Down with the Word. And have a nice life in Jesus Christ. And continue to be blessed. Bye.